Hello everyone, it's Alex Sola here, and we're exploring the question, what can you do in iMovie? And I'm going to show you some awesome things that you can do. A lot of people think it's really basic, but it's not. There are actually a lot of advanced things that you can do with iMovie. So let's go ahead and open it up here. I already have a project here with my dog. And so, you know, you get your media, audio, titles, backgrounds, and transitions here. But a lot of these are very useful as well. So we're going to start off with, um, we're going to start off with filters. So this is something that a lot of people don't know is available here. So we have filters that you can add and you can preview them as well. So like, let's say I choose this one and you can preview it and see. So there are all kinds of different filters. Um, you know, and, and you know, just does it on the fly, and it's, it's pretty awesome. You can do a lot of crazy things. Okay, so if filters isn't your thing, uh, hold on here. Let me let me disable filterings. Um, okay, so if filters isn't for you, you can always go here, and you can change things such as shadows. You can change the contrast. You can change the brightness. You can change the saturation as well and the temperature. So these are very useful. Sometimes a lot of people like to do a lot of saturation. Some people like to make things a little bit more dark. Make the you know make it a little bit more darker. Uh, you know you can you can do all kinds of things here. And it looks it looks uh, it looks better than it used to. So that's something also very useful. It's here in this color correction area. Okay, now you can go to color balance as well, and you can match colors, you can white balance, and things like that, which is very useful. You also have a cropping feature here. Now, you can do this with video as well. You can crop to fill. Uh, excuse me, let's see. Sorry about that. You can crop to fill. Um, you can do you know, can burns. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it on fit. You can also change the clip you can rotate the clip as well which is something some people might want to do um, okay so there we go what else so what are some other advanced things you can do well here you can stabilize uh, a lot of phones nowadays they stabilize they have the technology to stabilize the video but sometimes you might take video you might be moving the camera a lot or whatever you can stabilize shaky video as well very useful um, and then let's see here so you know Going off of uh, you know clip filter here in this area, there's also audio effects that you can add. So if you click on it, you'll basically get another dialog, and you can change the audio to any of these settings: robot, cosmic, large room, uh, pitch down, pitch up. You can do a lot of different things here. Um, some of these might be very useful to you. Okay. And with more audio, you can actually, if, if this isn't uh, loud enough, you can use here to you know go up to like 400%. And you can also do it here as well. You can do things like lower volume of other clips too. Very useful stuff. So what else? Um, I mean, there's, there's just a lot of good things here that are very useful. Like people underestimate iMovie and they don't give iMovie enough credit, but you can do a lot of great things with iMovie. You can even do green screening with iMovie and I have a video on my channel about green screening with iMovie. It's fairly simple. You just need a green screen, you lay down your uh, background, you put the green screen video above that and then you get a uh, you get a box that you go to and then you click on green screen and that's basically it. So. Um, what else? Uh, you can also change speed. So um, you can also change the speed. Uh, let's see here. It is somewhere here. I forget where it's at. That's why there's so many things here. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. So here you can customize the speed. And you can also do it here. But the way to enable it here uh, is you need to control and click on your mouse and then you'll get something that says show speed editor. I already have it enabled, so mine says hide. But basically what it does is it gives you this button here. So let me show you. If I hide it, 
you will not see that at the top. If I show it, it gives me this, and I can, hmm, I can make the clip longer, I can make it shorter, I can make it very short if I wanted. Uh, and you can do that up here as well. So you go here, you can customize it, or you can put it back to normal. Uh, and then you can also reverse as well. So if I wanted to reverse the clip, I can do that too. Which is a little bit weird, but <laughs> you can do that if you need to. Uh, you can reverse the pitch, things like that. So uh, if you, And then also, one last thing, um, you can also do, uh, you can record here. Like you can record directly into the timeline. Um, usually you can use like your built-in microphone or you can select other ones if you have other ones connected. And uh, it, it's useful. It's really useful. You just have to click on here and then you can start recording your voice or whatever it is you need to record with your microphone. So that's basically it. Um, those are like all the advanced things that you can do with iMovie. I'd say iMovie is pretty good. Um, a lot of people really don't need that Final Cut Pro. I mean, you already have a lot of great backgrounds, a lot of titles, transitions. These are a lot of the same ones that you will get in Final Cut Pro. And this is a free application, so keep that in mind as well. You can do a lot of big things with this. If uh, you ever want to get into video editing, this is a great way to start. Don't let other people tell you otherwise. Don't let other people say, iMovie, that's a, that's a program for kids. It's not. You have a lot of advanced things here that you can really use and make your videos look really great. So. Um, anyway, that is it. Um, subscribe if you want. I'm going to try my best to upload some new videos, but uh, it's been a little bit difficult for me. But uh, I want to do more Google videos, like I've said in the past. And, um, and so that's basically it. Thank you for watching.